Hey, thanks for joining Max Muscle Davis County. My name is James, and today we're gonna to continue our series on uh, Nutrition 101. And looking at our, our protein and, and determining how many grams of protein or the, or the quantity of protein per scoop that we're getting. So a lot of times you may end up finding a protein that's fairly inexpensive, you may pick it up, and then you look at the scoop and it says there's 45 grams in that scoop, but there's only say 25 grams of protein. That means there's a lot of miscellaneous items showing up in that scoop that you don't necessarily want. So really, you're just paying the same amount for your protein, you're just getting a lot of extra with it. So a good way to look at your protein is determining how much of that protein, or how much or rather of that scoop is actual protein. So let's use Max Pro Elite, which is the, the best one in my opinion on the market. So if we look at this, and we'll just go over this real quick. First thing we're gonna look at is, is scoop size. Now on this one, if you look up here, we got 35 grams. So we know that the scoop is gonna be 35 grams. So let's go ahead and find out where all those scoops are coming from, right? Or the grams, rather. So we got 30 grams of protein, and that's certified tested. It's not just a number that we made up. There's two carbs, so now we're up to 32 total uh, grams. And then there's about a gram of fat. So let's just go ahead and say 33 grams. So of the 35 grams of the scoop size, we actually have 33 grams that we can account for. That means there's two grams of flavoring and uh, different ingredients that help with the mixability. So this would be what we call as a high quality protein as far as grams per scoop. So next time you're out shopping and you're looking at labels, you're looking at price, it really shouldn't be cost per serving, it shouldn't be cost per container, it should be cost per gram of protein. So just to give you an idea, so this, this right here has 52 scoops of 30 grams of protein. That's 1,560 grams. So what you would do is you would take the cost, or which, whatever you buy it at, divide that by 1,560, and that would give you cost per gram of protein. So usually you're gonna be somewhere between three and five cents per gram. So just to kind of give you an idea as you're looking at things, as you look at, say, cottage cheese, you look at chicken breast, you look at steak, uh, start looking at how much is it gonna cost you to get the protein, because really the reason we're eating those foods is to get the protein out of it, True, I mean a really nice steak tastes great and that's why I eat it, or uh, a well marinated chicken breast. But think that if it's ultimately about getting the gram of protein that you need, you're really gonna be hard pressed to find something that's gonna give you the same value as this. So until next time, this is James with Max Muscle Davis County. Look for our other videos on, on how to maximize the uptake of protein, things of that nature. And also look for a, another one on protein spiking and I'll go over that in detail, protein spiking, and, and why you want to try to avoid uh, supplements that potentially do that. So until next time, again, this is James with Max Muscle Davis County, and have a great day.